hate that when he wakes up, it's still technically nighttime. Alright, so now I've got more campfire ash and charcoal. Oh, I left the meat on and it burned. Let's just destroy that. Out. Well, um, so it's in the game, it's Set it off to the side. I did not want to pick that up, but oh well. Alright, we've got ourselves a nice little mound of mud logs. Now, before our character eats any breakfast, he is quite dirty. So let's, let's wash up. Although I don't think my character needs any breakfast. He's looking I mean I he's looking pretty good. I can I can go without a breakfast. Let's uh, let's check my inventory anyways. Just check my food, make sure I'm not carrying any spoiled shit. Let's go look for a bunch of the long sticks that I chopped down. If my spear doesn't work in battle, say I lose it, or I hurl it, and I, it misses horribly, and I don't want to try and use my bow, I go to my bow and I scroll, and I've got my, uh, <coughs> my knife here. Oh, no, don't want to throw my knife. But I can. I've got to remember that I can do that. This game makes you so paranoid that you're looking around at everything. Because the last thing you want is to not be looking when a jaguar comes up behind you. So they, they don't always make an, a lot of noise. <coughs> Sometimes you won't even hear them until it's too late. I think that's kind of by design. Because, like, jaguars are supposed to be a, a fucking serious threat. And if you could hear them coming a mile away, all well, that kind of mitigates some of the seriousness of the threat, you know? There we go. Somewhat of a doorway. Let's save our game. Alright, so I've done a lot of construction right now, but what I'm going to do next is a lot of armoring up, because those bitches know where I live. So, I take a... oh wait, I don't take the banana leaf, I craft with the banana leaf, and one, two, three bones, and a rope, two rope. There we go, bone armor. And then I hit inspect. Hold on. There we go. I'm gonna put that on my arms. I don't want to put it on my legs, but I had to s switch to my legs. Okay, all this meat is bad. As I expected it to be. It's important to stay hydrated, kids. Your your macro elements there do determine your, your stats in-game. Alright. I need logs, and I need liana, so I'm going to start chopping down the liana log trees. You may be 
you're going, Jake, what do you need logs for? Well, I'm building more, more frames. So I'm going to need more of these. Because off of this doorway here is where I'm going to build my, my grand house of mud. I'll leave that doorway wood, just because it's, it's already wood. But... The rest of it's gonna be gonna be grand. Beautiful. Oh, let's use this. There we go. There we go, now I've got more anti uh, bug bite bandages. get all the rope from <gasps> I guess I could always hide up here if I find myself outnumbered. Although they will hurl rocks at you. They, they are not above pelting you with stones till you fall out of your post. Um... Luckily, a lot of this material is a fucking surplus in the jungle. As long as you're careful about getting to it, you should be fine. See, look, there's more bandage plant just fucking sitting out in the open. That's why I really like this spot. Taking down just one of them peccary is going to give me enough protein and material I need to survive a while out here. I haven't really eaten the iguana very much. Probably tried them. They're probably pretty tasty. Um, let's top my guy off. I'll get rid of that. Uh, eat the banana. Eat the nut. Eat some of the coconut flesh. Can I help you? Yeah, I didn't think so. There we go. Now let's put some mud on you. Yes, this one I can give a mud roof. 
You can only carry one mud brick at a time. Now, downside to the mud, um, it doesn't hit full effect until it dries. I mean, it works when it's not dried. It still works. But it needs to dry to have full durability. Because otherwise it's just semi squishy mud. Which I'm, I'm fine with. I'm, I'm okay with semi squishy mud. Um, you also need mud to make storage chests, which are very useful um, for, you know, storage. And you need mud for uh, really any of the higher durability. Like, if you want to make a floor that you can walk on, you need mud bricks. Um, without mud bricks, you're not going to be able to walk on it. There we go. And this will start to dry. Yeah, see, now that the rain's done, it's, it's drying out. You see the little spots on it where it's drying rather quickly. So let's save our game. There we go. And, uh, I'm going to take these mud bricks out. I'm going to get started on my next chunk of mud. Because next I'm going to make the, uh, the charcoal maker, which is necessary when you want to build mud on a large scale. you need the, the charcoal to, you know, make your mud. Alright, my guy is very dirty, so I'm gonna wash up. I think washing is much more effective in the rain, personally. Or maybe if I'm using non-dirty water. I don't know. I don't. I don't know the the nuances of it. Um. What I do know is my guy could go for a bite of that per turn. I hear that that rumbling in the brush, and my body just recoils and makes me check. on there. No, you know what? Hold on. Cancel the throw. Oh my god, I forgot what the bow is like. So with the bow, your your aim moves fucking all around. And what you gotta do is you gotta hold left shift to steady your aim. Um, you can only do it for a limited amount of time before your character, like, needs to, needs to breathe, though. Because he's, you know, it takes strength to hold a bow at full draw. Especially a bow meant to kill. Because they generally have a lot of poundage behind them. Thank you, ambiance. Not necessary, though. Um. No, wrong one. Can I put a mud wall here? Why can't I mud wall you? Requires wall frame. Did I not build a wall frame? Bamboo frame wall. Oh! Wait a minute! So, the stick stuff acts as a frame for the mud stuff. That's neat. Okay. Now, I'll, I'll admit this. I, when we were building in my last, you know, in my multiplayer, 
My little brother is usually the one who does the building. He really likes that shit. So I'm not familiar with how this whole thing kind of works. But now I am. Alright. Now that I get how it works, I, uh... I got this. I, I got this. Office slithers. Small sticks away. I think I'm gonna call it there, guys. I killed a jaguar, killed a native, uh, got more food than I need right now, water going on, so I don't need to worry about hunting for a while, I'm armoring up, getting a home built, so that way I can start making expeditions out into the wild, so yeah, uh, night everybody.